Hello everyone, welcome to Math Talk. I'm your host Brian Heisler, and today we're going to talk about solving multi-step equations. And so I'm going to jump right into it. I'm going to go ahead and solve this multi-step equation. The reason it's called a multi-step equation is because it requires multiple steps in order to solve it. And so really when you get into these, the idea is you want to get all the values or all the terms that have a variable, like in this case x, on one side of your equal sign and all the numbers on the other side. And really it just takes some rearranging of the equation. And then once you have it set up, you can start solving it. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to go ahead and bring all my x's to one side and all my numbers to the other. And so I see on the left side that I have two values with x's and I have a number. I'm going to bring that number to the other side of the equation by doing the opposite operation. It's a positive 5, so the opposite of plus 5 is minus 5. And so I'm going to subtract 5 from both sides. I'm going to bring down the 6x, and I'm going to bring down the 2x, and then I'm going to do 25 minus 5 is 20. So now all my x's are on the left, and my number is on the right. Next thing I'm going to do is I have two values that have the same variable. They're both x's. That means I can combine them into one term. And the way you combine them is you do whatever the operation says. If I have 6x's minus 2x's, that leaves me with 4x's. So I have 4x equals 20. Now this becomes a one-step equation. And in this particular instance, we have 4 times x. So to solve it, we're going to do the opposite. Divide by 4, divide by 4, and I get x equals 5. So the solution to this multi-step equation is x equals 5. If I were to go back and plug in 5 to x, I would see that the left half equals the right half, and I know my solution is correct. So let's look at one more example. This one's a little bit trickier because we have parentheses. We actually have to use what's called the distributive property. The distributive property says that if you have a number that's being multiplied by a set of terms in parentheses, you actually distribute the number on the outside. And so what that looks like is you take the number on the outside and you multiply it by each number or value on the inside. So I'm going to take negative 4 times x to get me negative 4x, and then I'm going to take negative 4 times the minus 6 and multiply those together. Negative 4 times negative 6 is positive 24 equals 2x. Now one of the questions I get a lot is, is this really like a minus 6 or is it a negative 6 or what is it? You know, how do I tell what the symbol is? What I like to do is I basically break this up into two different pieces. I have an x and I have a negative 6. Because that way I don't really need to figure out is it negative, is it positive, or what it is. All I need to do is take the two numbers, negative 4 and negative 6, and multiply them together. I know that negative 4 times negative 6 is positive 24, so if I write out the positive, it just fills in my equation as it is. It becomes a plus sign. So there's a little tip for you when you're solving these. So now what I have is I have a, an equation with an x on one side and an x on the other. And so in the last example, I brought all my x's to one side and my numbers to the other. So I'm actually going to go ahead and bring this negative 4x over to the other side. And remember, when you're moving things around in an equation, all you have to do is do the opposite operation. So these will cancel, 24 will drop down, and 2x's plus 4x's is 6x's. Now I have a one-step equation. I have x times 6 equals 24. So let's do the opposite to solve it. Divide by 6. And then I know 26 or 24 divided by 6 is 4. So in this case, x equals 4. Again, when you have problems that involve parentheses like this, you really want to look at using the distributive property. Take the number on the outside, multiply it by every number or value on the inside, and then you can start solving your equation. I hope this helps when you get to multi-step equations. Remember, they take multiple steps. So take it one at a time and start simplifying from there, and you'll get your solution. Thanks. If you have any other questions or you need assistance and you live in the Palm Beach County area, visit our website at GEDS.com to find a location near you and sign up for classes.